very large. I'd say he's a good five feet long. People in one mountain community are having to be extra protective of their children and their pets because of what is lurking around their homes. Thanks for choosing 23 ABC News at 5. I'm Jackie Park. And I'm Tim Callahan. As the drought continues, people aren't the only ones being affected. Animals struggling to find food are now putting humans in danger. And in the past year, Kern County has been seeing dozens of bears and bobcats that move into highly populated areas in search of food and water, and they are getting more brazen every day. Now, one mountain community claims they're being terrorized by another creature who has proven he has no fear of humans at all. 23 ABC's Mark Christian live in Fraser Park, where at least four dogs, ranging from small to large, have reportedly fallen prey to this wild animal. It is mountain Mark. lion habitat, and they generally exist wherever deer are found. However, many residents up here say a mountain lion sighting in these neck of the woods has been very rare. Spotting a mountain lion in the Lake of the Woods area has not been a common occurrence. This is the first one in a while, a couple years. But now they've been spotted almost every day within the last... I'd say two weeks. Two weeks. A good two weeks, yes. And it's been the talk of the town. On my walks, I let everybody know what's going on so they right. can be vigilant. And especially us older folks that do walk with our dogs, mm -hmm. you know, we don't have any defense. Right. Now, these are some actual pictures of the mountain lion spotted in people's backyards that were posted on social media. Very large. I'd say he's a good five feet long. He's mature. He's humanized. It took the neighbor behind this house to shoot him with a pellet gun to get him out of the yard. Now, residents say the mountain lion has killed at least four dogs since March. Me and my girlfriend were real concerned. We wanted to go actually like chase it down because we heard it was chasing after a dog and our neighbors actually lost their dog. Other residents think people are blowing all the sightings out of proportion. Don't keep your dogs and kids outside, that's all I know. Well, this is their habitat and I think that it's up to the people who live here to make sure that um, they're pets and their children are secure. Residents have been advised not to hike, bike, or jog alone. Now, typically, mountain lions are active at dusk, dawn, and at night. However, many residents say the mountain lion has been seen in broad daylight and are increasingly concerned for neighborhood children. Sometimes we wait by ourselves at the bus stop and um, me and my sister are little girls, so we might be the mountain lion's lunch. In the meantime, residents think it's about time something is done. I mean, I called uh, animal control and asked them. They referred me to Fish and Game. I think it's going to take more, a lot more people to come forward and to, before they'll do something. Now, some residents told us that a representative from the California Department of Fish and Game was up here earlier to check it out. Now, we contacted the department to find out what the plan was, but so far we've not heard back from them. Back to you. Well, weather changes are on the way. We